Greetings, honorary ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anton Polokhin, and topic of my research is conceptual principles of forecasted demand on the day ahead market using changes in hourly bidded demand between previous similar days. Let's begin with topicality of my research. The ahead market is one of the core segments of the electricity market in Ukraine, where electricity is traded. It is important to understand market situation and to study structure of purchase and sell bids if you want your own company to be profitable, not even talking about economically break even. Forecasted demand for the ahead market, which is one of the components for successful activity on the ahead market, is considered within the scope of the article. Till today, in Ukraine, there are no easily accessible software solutions for forecasting demand for the ahead market, not even talking about short-term forecasting. Thus, my paper considers different algorithms for calculating such forecasted demand for the next day and comparing different approaches to the calculation with the selection of the most accurate of them. We need to make different calculations because we need to define the most and the best possible algorithm. As to the aim and goal, the developed algorithm should provide the five following principles. First, speed. Trading on the ahead market occurs from day to day, every day. So as soon as the results came out, we need to analyze, perform calculations, and start thinking about the strategy for the following day. Second and third, easy to use and easy to learn how to use. The algorithm should not require special skills or something ungodly for, for the end consumer to use it. Low cost of implementations. Well, it's easy to consider because all the uh, analysis for the research was conducted in Excel and the company should not pay millions of dollars uh, for this uh, algorithm to be implemented in the company. High forecasting accuracy within 10%. Well, it's easy to understand if the algorithm is not accurate enough, who needs this algorithm at all. There are three basic principles for forecasting. First, using the real data results of the previous day. Well, it's easy to understand. Uh, when using the last possible results, we receive the best and the highest accurate, the most accurate results of forecasting. Using changes in demand between similar days of previous weeks. Just as an example, if we are forecasting demand for Friday, we analyze previous periods, Thursday, Friday, how our demand changed from Thursday to Friday, how it changed before from Thursday to Friday, and etc. Depth of the analysis is four weeks. Well, considering that the forecasting is short term, uh, we do not require to be uh, depth of the analysis to be too deep into years and uh, years and years. Factors which influence the demand on the ahead market. Well, there are several aspects which should be taken into account and probably discarded if these uh, factors potentially distort our forecasting data. Weather. Well, it's understandable. Change in weather affects how our consumption changes. Bilateral contracts. Uh, trading, suppliers, traders, they all perform operations uh, before the ahead market. They purchase electricity, they sell electricity, and of course, they affect, affect how our demand on the ahead market changes. Change in consumption of end consumer. For example, independent circumstances. Well, today we live in difficult times. We have war and everything can happen to our end consumer. Electricity lines can be destroyed. Something can be destroyed. So this cannot be forecasted. Possible manipulations on the ahead market. Well, if uh, some player on the market have too much power, uh, this player can use this power for his own benefit. Other factors, for example, mistake when inputting data, data on trading platform. Well, it's easy to understand. Sometimes 
uh, some company may change sell and buy bid or uh, make mistake when inputting price and volume. Calculation algorithms. Well, there are basically uh, four approaches to the calculation offered in the paper. Uh, first one is the most obvious, arithmetic mean value of the change in demand. Well, we calculate change in demand between uh, similar days four weeks ago. Uh, arithmetic mean, and then we this arithmetic mean add to the actual results of the uh, our actual day. For example, if we are forecasting for Friday, we take Thursday results, add this arithmetic mean, receive forecasted value for Friday. Easy to understand. Next two following calculations, uh, they use the so-called weighted average value. So the idea behind was to introduce some weight uh, to receive probably better results. So these approaches use weighted average value of the sum of positive and negative changes in demand weighted by the number of days with a positive change in demand and a negative change in demand. Well, we all understand that demand can increase or decrease. Now, what is the main difference? First one, giving preference to those days that are more in number. Okay, it's understandable by increasing their weight because they are more, it is more likely to happen uh, if there are, for example, more positive changes than negative. And that are closer to, to, to today's day. It is second approach and third approach, only giving preference to those types of days that are more in number. And fourth algorithm, it is derivation for, it, it, it has derived from arithmetic mean, probably, and uh, weighted average value. Uh, of the two previous algorithms. It is weighted average value for positive and negative changes in demand. Well, uh, sounds similar. Taking into account the deviation from the arithmetic mean of the absolute values of changes in demand to determine a typical days. So basically we need to determine these days which can um, distort our data, which can make our forecasting results look very bad. We need to discard these days, and therefore, uh, this method was discovered by the author experimentally to remove such atypical days. Example of results uh, is written in the paper because we are kind of short on time. Uh, I'm skipping this information and just giving you the calculation results of all four algorithms. Well, algorithm four shows the highest forecasting accuracy. So how I determined the best accuracy? I used two parameters. First, sum of modules of absolute deviations. It's just uh, absolutely uh, numerical value and is only needed to determine the lowest possible value because the lowest value of these sums is the best uh, algorithm with the uh, lowest amount of deviations and times of being more accurate. Well, easy to understand how many times among these four algorithms uh, these algorithms were accurate. And here on the slide, to the right side, we can see uh, accuracy of algorithm four, which was uh, the best among the all four algorithms as to the previous slide and uh, according to the study and it shows example of one day here we have demand forecast value the real data the data demand and their absolute deviation absolute deviation and of course relative deviation in percent it is worth to note that uh, if there is high deviation in between forecasted data and real data, there may be possible manipulations on the day ahead market and probably the market operator should study the behavior of some players on this market. Well, basically conclusions. Within the study, calculations of the forecasted hourly demand for day ahead market was conducted using four algorithms. They could be somewhat similar, some were different. 
But according to this calculations, uh, we determined the best one, the most accurate one. Formulaic description of this algorithm is presented in the article. It is worth to note uh, that hourly demand forecasting is one of the keys to successful business in the energy, energy market of Ukraine, and this provides competitive advantage over other market participants who do not perform such forecasting. The report is complete. Thank you.